So before we get into today's video, you're going to be watching kind of an interesting, random, honestly, clip uh, here of a team challenge that we did a while back. This was the headshot only TDM win, honestly one of the best team challenges we've ever completed, but at the same time, one of the lesser viewed ones only got about 85,000 views compared to the others that got hundreds of thousands, but definitely one of my favorite team challenges of all time. And the intro clip I was really proud of, I thought it turned out really good, it was a lot of fun, I really miss doing those a ton. And I wanted to show you this because all of those have never seen this i wanted to just get a glimpse of what team challenges were like and if you really want to see these return i want you to comment down right now in the comment section below hashtag bring team challenges back and i want you guys to comment it like crazy because i want the carnage team to see it and then we'll go out and and hopefully get some more for you so enjoy this little intro clip and then we'll go ahead and jump right into today's bo3 video <laughs> Mess him up, boy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We got this. All right. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just take it slow. We still got this. We have a 13 or a really good lead. Ooh. Hold up. We have a 13 or a really good lead. Twenty seconds left. Jumping. Don't wait, wait, wait. Oh, I got my shot on him. Yeah, yeah. Don't shoot him. Don't shoot him. Oh. Sure. Boom! Headshot. I left. Oh my god. Boom! Headshot. Boom! Headshot. Oh my god. Man, like, six, I'm still nine, getting the headshot. Just like boom! Headshot. Everybody. Just put ocean on the main screen. Six eight. Yeah, they're all sweating. God. Oh, Dude, they have the same. Same. They have the same. It's us. So Black Ops 3 was one of the biggest successes in Call of Duty history, not only in sales, but also in DLC, in, in supply drop content, in extra content they added. Uh, obviously, the season pass was a massive success. People really cared about anything new in regards to Black Ops 3. Like, there was nothing that went kind of unheard of or that was irrelevant when dropping, especially, you know, new content. And Black Ops 3 was also a very, very fun COD for many reasons. One, it wasn't taken so seriously. They added a lot of fun things in. There was a lot of interesting and different DLC weapons, especially melee weapons that were quite fun. They added in a sword and stuff like that, uh, and a, a katana. And they also did a lot of cool things with camos. Obviously, the Dark Matter camo was one of the best Call of Duty camos ever. And the fact that it was uh, after gold and after um, the, you know, diamond camos that you had to unlock, the Dark Matter was extremely desired. So they did a really good job with it. Obviously, it was a beautiful camo, and I hope that in Black Ops 4 that they have not only a good camo in place of dark matter maybe dark matter would even return but i hope that there's another tier and maybe even two more tiers after dark matter i really want to see them extend the lifetime of the game by adding in challenges for the longest time i've said stuff like maybe adding in milestones for camos maybe there should be a camo for a milestone of 25,000 kills 50,000 kills 75,000 kills 100,000 kills 500,000 kills i think there should be camos that are really really hard to get and that make people want to play the game and strive to play it throughout the lifetime of the entire game because people really want to unlock those camos in like a camo wet 500,000 kills only a few people would get that and it would take forever and I think it would be so amazing when that dropped so I think that they should do things like that they never have in the past and I think that that's something they should look into I would love to see something like that and overall Black Ops 3 was just well recepted they kind of nerfed the movement system from Advanced Warfare which was its predecessor and honestly the movement system in Black Ops 3 not only was better but people overall just liked it a lot more. I think it was a lot more balanced. It was a lot more smooth. The double jumping was gone and I just really liked the way movements was in Black Ops 3. I would not mind seeing it return in a future COD. I don't think we're going to see it, but if they ever were to add advanced movement back, I don't want to see advanced warfare movement systems. I want to see the BO3 movement system, even though jumping in the air in advanced warfare and then like thrusting left and right was really fun and cool. I really think Black Ops 3 had the best and most fluid movement system, uh, that 
that was a, obviously an advanced movement system. So BO4, as you guys know, is boots in the ground, and that's actually what we're going to be talking about. But before we get any further into today's video, guys, today's gameplay is a nuclear with the Sten DLC weapon by Carnage Saw on the map Breach. And of course, he has that Dark Matter camo on this DLC weapon. This is one of the newer DLC weapons that has come to Black Ops 3. It's obviously not the M14, but it's still a solid weapon and probably one of the most underrated DLC weapons in the entire game. It is extremely good, and you can see that in this gameplay through its fire rate, its accuracy, and its damage. It takes out enemies extremely quickly, and he just, he goes off. He got that ELO side on it, and he's just doing extremely well. The, uh, the nuclear is not exactly the fastest nuclear, but I thought that because you guys like Black Ops content so much here on the Carnage channel, that we would premiere, like, some DLC content at the same time, you know, a nuclear, and because it was a longer video, I had the opportunity to talk about Black Ops 4, and that's what I really want to do in today's video, because I did have the opportunity to, to, to go out to Activision to play BO4 multiple times, not only at the community reveal, but also at the, uh, at E3. Of course, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Stick around for more content. Drop a like on today's video. If we could shoot for 500 likes on today's BO3 video, that would seriously, seriously make my day. Make a lot of the guys at the Carnage channel their days as well. Uh, things have obviously been a little bit slow here. Notifications have been rough. The YouTube algorithm has not been liking us for some reason. Um, but we're definitely, obviously, still going to post content for you guys. But uh, really, every single like, every single comment seriously makes a difference. So thank you all to those have, who have stuck around and been supporting us. It really does mean a lot. 500 likes would be sick. But BO4, like I said, is right around the corner. It's in October. I have played it several times now, I believe twice for, uh, you know, like two hours each time, I believe. And my first impressions are very positive. I know there's a lot of uh, skepticism around the manual regen health system, as well as some of the other features. But guys, it really isn't that big of a deal. Honestly, I wish it wasn't in the game. I will admit that. I wish, and I don't think it's necessary. I don't think it's something that they had to mess with. But at the same time, it really is not as big of a deal as I first thought, as well as everybody that I've seen come comment about it. It's kind of like second nature after a couple of games. It's not that uh, prominent and at the same time it does add another level of skill. So your less skilled players that forget or aren't as quick at manual regening, you're gonna be able to just take them out very easy and it's gonna make the game uh, a little bit better for pub stomping, I guess you could say, but overall, it's it's not that not that horrible, and I would not worry about it. The weapons that I got to use, there's not all the weapons that were in the game when I got to play, but the weapons were very balanced. All the weapons had a point to them, except for the SOG, I believe it was called, the SOG 9mm. It was pretty much pointless, at least from my experience. Maybe that's just me not being that great of a player with it, but I think it needs a buff. I don't think it's good enough to compete with the other weapons. Um, but then also, some of the other weapons are, like, not they're not called the same weapon, like, as previous Call of Duty's titles, but they're basically the same weapons, and they do act differently, they look differently, so it's not like they were lazy and just added the same weapons in, but they do resemble some of the weapons, and they kind of play like some of the weapons from previous CODs, such as the Scar H, and we actually made a video that got a couple hundred, hundred thousand views about these weapons are returning in Black Ops 4, if you want to check out that video, I'll actually leave it linked down in the description of this video, um, and we kind of cover some of those, those guns that are returning, but the guns feel great, it's super satisfying to get a kill in BO4, uh, the the biggest complaint that I have, actually, and I'm, I'm going to be honest, obviously, with you guys, is the time to kill. I think the time to kill is extraordinarily long and almost annoyingly long that you really can't even get double kills at points. You can't even get triple kills, obviously. If, if a double kill is hard, you know, a triple kill is going to be extremely hard. So that's something I think that they should definitely minimize. I think the time to kill needs to be reduced, including the body armor. The body armor is extremely powerful and makes it near impossible to, like I said, get double and triple kills. So that's something that I would like to see nerfed in the long run. I think that once the game is in beta, we're going to see it reduced, and maybe even in the final launch that it should be reduced even more significantly. Remember, the, the build that I did play was an alpha build, so they are still making a lot of adjustments, they're changing up a lot of things, and uh, what I got to play was far from the final, final game. And that also includes perks, that includes the weapons that were in the game, that obviously includes the maps, and that's the last part I want to talk about. So, as you guys know, campaign has been removed from Black Ops 4. There is no campaign that exists on, on the disc when you get it. However, there is like mini campaigns, mini storylines for each specialist, and I think that they're going to do like other mini storylines in other different parts of the game in the multiplayer experience so that there's some kind of basis behind what we're playing. But at the same time, because there's no campaign, that means they have a lot more room to play around with multiplayer and obviously Blackout, which is the huge battle royale mode that's coming to Call of Duty. It's going to be massive and I can't wait for it. But because they have more disc space, they're going to probably add a lot more maps. And because we've 
already seen nine to 10 maps released and it's not even beta yet, I think we're gonna be seeing honestly 15 to 18 maps by the final launch of the game. And if they do that, that would be tremendous because the most maps that have ever been in a COD title has been 16 to 17 maps. And those were like the Modern Warfare games. So I think it's extremely important that they add in more maps. And I think that they're, that they're gonna do exactly that because as Call of Duty has gone on, we've really reduced in the amount of maps that we've gotten with the game at launch extremely badly with World War II. World War II came out with nine maps uh, and that's just honestly in my opinion unacceptable because I think that maps are the most important part for replayability for a Call of Duty title. But anyways guys, hopefully you're having a fantastic day. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. Are you excited about Black Ops 4? I personally am. I think Treyarch's going to do a fantastic job with it especially in the long term. I think we're going to get a lot of downloadable content that's free. I think we're going to get a lot of great uh, additions and community events and stuff like that but without further ado hope you're having a fantastic day and i'll talk to you all later